story takes place in an elementary school. We start off in a very long, echoey hallway. Hi, Josh. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Josh. I'm going to go. Want to come with me? We're almost there. I will love to walk with you the rest of the way. Oh, Josh and Jackie are here. Let me go get the door. Hey kids, welcome to class. Come on in. Unpack your backpacks and we'll get started. Alright, what's up? I need your attention. Alright kids, we have to talk about your new assignment. Class, we have a diorama to do. A diorama is a miniature scene in a box. For example, a shoe box. Turn on its side that makes a 3D model of a scene rather than a flat picture. It needs to have miniature figures of people or animals or objects that help you paint your picture. It also has to have a painted or photographic background. Your scenes can be about anything you want. It can be fact or fiction. You must include a report describing your scene that is at least 10 sentences long. Here are some examples. It could be about a spaceship flying through space or a memory of something your favorite pet did, or going to the science center, or of you at the dojo taking karate lessons. You guys can choose to work in groups or work alone. And the assignment is due in only two weeks. Please make sure it's done on time. The kids are both thinking to themselves, that's a lot of work to do in only two weeks. But I want to try to do it all by myself anyway. All right, class. That's it for today. Time to go home. The kids are now both in their own houses working alone. Josh looks at the clock and says to himself, Oh, man, it's time to bed and I didn't get anywhere with my project. Then Jackie looks at her clock and says to herself, Oh, it's the end of the day, and I've got nowhere. Maybe I'll get some work done tomorrow. Okay, class, it's time to start the school day. The end of another day. I hope you have all started working on your dioramas. The kids are back at their own houses trying again to work on their project. Shoot, another day has gone by and I still haven't gotten anywhere. Then we see Jackie at her house looking equally as frustrated because she hasn't gotten anywhere either. The week goes by just the same way, and they still are having a lot of difficulties with their project. Now it is a new week, and the kids are back at school on Monday morning. What's up, Josh? Hey again, Jackie. How are you doing on your diorama? I'm not getting anywhere. Miss Susan was right about us working in a group. Yeah, let's try working together this week. Maybe, then maybe we'll get somewhere. Yeah, I win. So the kids went to Jackie's house after school and started working together on their project. I was thinking about doing my diorama about my trip to Monkey Doe. What were you thinking? I was thinking about doing mine about my favorite party. So what if we compromise and make it about your favorite party at Monkey Joe? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Let's get to work. One of my doll houses has a toy slide and a miniature bathhouse. Great, I have a toy monkey jewel we could use, and I have a shoe box for my new shoes. Cool, and let's print out a picture of the concert where you turn in your tickets for prizes. We can use that for our background. So the kids worked together Monday through Thursday to be sure they finished their project on time. 
and now they are back at school on Friday, and they are talking to Miss Susan about how they got their projects finished. Hey, Miss Susan, you finished the diorama on time. We were having trouble working by ourselves, so we got together and we got it done. Well, kids, I actually knew that working alone would be hard, and working together really does help you get things done faster when you have something really hard to do. Yay! The end.